Come on. Okay, now you're good. Toltec Prophecies of Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, I think this is really important and awesome for this time. <clears throat> Can you hear me okay? God awakens. The prophet said that when the sixth sun came, God would awaken from the dream. This means that we are God dreaming, that we are not God. The day the dreamer awakens and becomes God is the same as resurrection. First, we have to become aware that we are asleep, then we can awake. Although it takes at least 200 years for this process of awakening to be completed, since 1992 the process has been accelerating and many of us have felt the effect in our lives. This is the generation that is beginning the awakening and you are a part of it. What we need to do is surrender. Whatever happens will happen because it must. Our task is to enjoy our life more and to express what is inside us to bring about the new humanity. If we have hate inside of us, we will share hate. If we have sadness, we will share sadness. We can only share happiness when we are happy. We cannot share love unless we love ourselves first. We don't understand why we suffer. We don't realize we have a choice, but we do have a choice. We are not totally responsible for the old dream because it was here when we were born. In spite of the nightmarish dream, we are trying to make this a better place for our children. The dream of the planet has evolved through the millennia, so the dream is changing and the tendency is towards something better. But for now, it is still a nightmare, and it is still hell. Our task in this lifetime is to extricate ourselves from the old dream. We cannot afford to wait for the new dream to evolve into fearlessness. We must act for ourselves. The dream of the planet will not change without resistance, just as we cannot change our own dream without experiencing resistance. The beginning of the new dream is already here and it is growing, but the old dream wants to hang on to guilt, anger, the judge, and the victim. The human pattern of spiritual growth is like an inner war where we face ourselves. We tend to be the most severe judge of ourselves. Each of us will experience a crisis of surrender, but afterwards our capacity to love will increase. As it happens in the individual, it will also happen in, in all of humanity. Accept, oh, excuse me, expect there to be continuous temptations. Other living beings will try to tempt us back into the old dream by manipulation and promotions. coming into the earth via light from the sun. But there is no reason to fear changes. Even if our bodies die in some predicted disaster, we have no reason to fear. Our bodies will die anyway. Death is nothing but transformation. Do not listen to prophets of fear. Do not be guided by them. The old dream of the planet will try to persevere 
itself by creating fear. Spirit is moving us to change our dream and the dream of the planet. When we entered the sixth sun, it gave us an opportunity to make this change in the dream. Make more than an opportunity, it was a command from the sun telling us it has to happen. So I just wanted to share this because I thought it was very profound and also gives hope uh, that humanity is evolving and that a lot of the, the chaos and everything comes from our resistance to change, which is in human nature. So anyways, I hope this blessed you this morning and um, I'm doing a call tomorrow at noon if you want to join me and connect. So hopefully I'll see you.